Madam Deputy Speaker. Firstly, could I thank the Chancellor for overturning his business secretary statement yesterday on onshore wind by removing the ridiculous planning uh, restrictions that are unique to that sector. Talk about a one-day cabinet flip-flop. But secondly, can I warn him against removing normal planning rules on development and investment zones? When the Tory government removed the need for offices to housing uh, planning rules, uh, those conversions led to housing which were tiny rabbit hutches, no natural light, no basic services, and often away when they're on industrial estates, away from basic things like footpaths, bus stops, schools and parks. Is this a dodgy developer's charter too? Not at all. The whole purpose, the whole principle behind the investment zone is a mutual consent. No investment zones will be imposed in any areas, and it will be very much up to uh, local councils to work out uh, which are appropriate sites for the investment zones. It's a cooperative exercise which will not be uh, the developer's charter that she describes.